Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming an actually really helpful video. You know, usually it's just me sitting here spewing my thoughts out. But today I'm going to do something that might actually help you as a human being. So, before we travel back in time about six months ago, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Now, let's get to the action. So today's video is going to be about me picking my eyebrows. So... For as long as I can remember, I always pick at my eyebrows and the problem is, is that then I get these like blank spaces here. If you look, you can see that there's a bunch of empty spaces all along my eyebrows. So I was doing research and apparently this is like a thing and a bunch of people do it. So what I wanted to do is find out if I can use some tips and tricks to get myself to stop doing it because I mean it really alters your face it's kind of crazy I do the same thing to my eyelashes so yeah as you heard in that video I was always plucking at my eyebrows with my hands like always pulling out my eyelashes it was just a thing I did there I was not diagnosed we know there's actually a disorder where people pull out the hair a lot I was never diagnosed with that but I do have a general anxiety disorder it has some OCD offshoots so it could have been that it's also just like a thing I have like a sensory thing it's just if I felt something on them I would just pull at them if I was nervous it's a whole thing so I figured I'm gonna show you the one technique I used um, I ended up only just doing one thing that really helped me and hopefully it helps you too so if you look at my eyebrows now this is six months later so that was filmed in December it is now June you can see I'm gonna go see if I can get some brighter light up in this situation if you look they're filled in now more here I don't have like blank spaces here on this side too obviously they're not like super thick or anything but there's if they don't look patchy and gross anymore also if you look at my eyelashes they're much fuller now I've got a lot more going on so now that you've seen that it works, that so you actually can get results from it, I'm gonna show you what product I used. And before I show you this, like it's not sponsored at all. Like, would your girl be wearing an old new moon shirt because it's the only thing that she has clean if she was rich? Like, no. Although TBH, I probably would be because even if I was rich, like I'd still probably be lazy and not wanna do my laundry, so. Okay, so here's the tea, sis. So what I do um, is I use Lash Accelerator Serum with Growth Lash Complex. Um, it's from Rimmel London, and so here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, beauty guru moment. Um, and I apply this, I try to apply it every day, and I put it on my eyebrows or my eyelashes, usually like right in the morning, um, sometimes before night if I forgot to do it. But basically anytime I get that urge to like start pulling out my eyebrows or my eyelashes, I'll throw this on, and then I won't do it anymore. And that's because it kind of makes your eyelashes and eyebrows feel like you have a gel on them or like a mascara or a brow gel on and what that does at least for me it makes me not want to pull at them because I feel like I'm wearing makeup and I don't want to ruin my makeup that's just me it helps me a lot and that's how I got to here I didn't use anything else this wasn't with like using like olive oil or something this wasn't with like I don't really have like anything filled in right now I don't have mascara like this is all I use so I'm going to show you how to apply it in case you want to get this also I just showered so like I'm clean I swear I know I look like a little frizzy but it's fine it's chill so it comes with this little thingy um that is a brush and then also a spiral let's see I'm, can you tell I'm not a beauty guru it comes with a little brush and then a spiral plastic thing and that's what you use on your eyelashes so the first thing I do is I apply it to my eyebrows and usually I won't even do this in a mirror I'll just like feel for where my brows are and just put it on um and it just helps me not touch my brows and then it's also really nice because it just makes you look like you did something um, without wearing makeup like you'll just have nicer slicked down brows and you'll have like a fuller look without having to use a powder or a gel or anything which I really like because I don't really wear makeup that often it's very rare that I do and when I do I'm always looking for something that'll give me put together look without having to do a bunch of work and also forgive me for not looking in the lens because I'm looking at the phone right now I like a mirror and I usually will go back into the container a couple times when I put this on because um, I try to put a pretty thick coating on so that it really does feel like I've got something on and that's what prevents me from plucking and I always go a little past my brow line just because I'm like I'm never mad at growing more hair around here because the more I can get the better then you dip it back in and you use this little ridgy part 
on the actual plastic itself, the white plastic, and you just use it like you would use any mascara. The key here is not to get too close to your nose because this brush will poke you in the nose, and if it does, that's fine. Um, it might cause some pimples or something if it like hits your nose, but realistically it's going to happen because you're using it like a mascara. It has a brush on the other side. You're going to hit your nose. And usually this, I'll just do like one quick cute little coat, and it's it works really well. Like you don't have to put a bunch on for this. I do a quick thing on my bottoms. I always get it on my actual eye, on my skin, and that's fine. It's not going to burn or anything. Do it on the other side. And even if you just put on this little bit, you'll feel like you actually did put on some makeup. And not only do you look like bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, you're also doing something to increase the size of your lashes. Now, you can already tell the difference here. I have... I never used to have like a lash there <laughs> like this sounds weird but like even wearing mascara like my lashes never looked full I never had a lash that was like right there so it I don't know it makes me really excited and I know a lot of you are probably dealing with the same thing even if you don't pull at them you probably want a thicker brow a thicker lash you know lashes are always in brows are super in right now so there you go um that's it. Those are my tips. You know, the things I did. I hope this helped you. Um, let's go take a look in the sun quick so you can see the full effect. Yeah. So I hope it helps you. Um, it definitely helped me. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Subscribe.